If you're someone who's used Outlook for years, you may not have liked the changes that happened a few years ago, especially in the inbox. You were probably used to seeing multiple columns and sorting your information in that way. Did you know that the columns are still there? You just have to know how to get to them. I'll show you how to see Outlook columns today on Tuesday Tech Training. Hello and welcome to Tuesday Tech Training. My name is Jennifer Stewart. I'm the owner of Gateway Productivity and I'm a tech and productivity trainer. Today I want to show you how to get back to those Outlook columns. If you're someone who liked to sort by those by clicking on the column and then having everything sort underneath it, then you will get a lot out of this video. The newer Outlook version has a different way to do this sorting, but I know a lot of people are creatures of habit and want to have those columns. Let's jump into Outlook and see how we do this. If you have one of the newer versions of Outlook, then it will probably look fairly similar to this. You may only have one email address over here, and that's fine. We're mainly going to be focusing on this area in the middle, and you may or may not have your reading pane open, and that's what this is on the right-hand side. Most people who can't find the columns are, typically have their reading pane open. And all you need to do to get those columns back is hover over this line right here. It's the one next to the scroll bar for your inbox. It's to the right. And we're gonna click and we're gonna drag that to the right. Now, depending on the size of your screen, you may have to drag longer than I just did, but you can see all of a sudden, all of my columns appear. And then when I let go, it resizes the reading pane, and now I have my columns. And for those of you who have been using Outlook for years, this is probably where you went to organize things by from, organize by the subject, or organize by received, which is the typical way of doing it. In next week's video, I will show you how to customize these columns. In this newer version of Outlook, they've given a dropdown right here that does that sorting for you. So it automatically sorts or arranges by from or who it's to or the subject. You can do all of that with this dropdown, or if you really like the columns and you'd like to continue working with those, this is how you can get back to them. And so again, you can click this back if you decide, oh, I'm gonna try that dropdown instead, and that will give me more room for my reading pane then you can bring it back over to the left and you can use this drop down here and you can get the same thing that you would with those columns, organizing it by subject. And then again, back to date, which is at the top. That's what you typically default to. I hope this is a big discovery for you and that you can get back to using the columns if you're someone who liked using those before, or maybe you're someone who would like to use them and you've never been able to do that before. And if you still feel like you need some help with this or any other tech challenge, you can always schedule a tech stress breakthrough call by going to gatewayproductivity.com and clicking on the Let's Talk button, or you can click the link that's above me with the heart in the computer monitor. Thanks for joining me, and I'll see you next time.